Have you ever noticed that some plants, or at least some of their parts, look quite similar even though they're different species? Look at these two plants and how similar they look. You might think they're related to each other, right? Plants who share certain characteristics, such as number of petals or type of fruit, as well as have close genetic relationships, meaning they're evolutionarily related to each other, make up groups called families. Since each family has a set of characteristics that are shared amongst the species belonging to that family, learning these characters will help you tremendously in identifying plants. You might not be able to tell what species you're looking at, but at least you will be able to assign it to the family, which will already get you really far. Narrowing the plant down to the family level makes identification and going through a key much easier. Please remember, as always with our biology topics, there are exceptions to these rules, and not every plant will check off every single character box. So let's dive into Brassicaceae. Brassicaceae are commonly referred to as mustards. That's because prepared mustard, the popular condiment, is produced from mustard seeds, which come from a few species of Brassicaceae, and that's not where the use of Brassicaceae in the food industry ends. Cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, radishes, and arugula are just a few examples of Brassicaceae that are commonly consumed. The majority of Brassicaceae are herbs or sometimes small shrubs. Their stems are simple or branching. Their leaves are simple, entire, or often deeply divided or lobed. Rarely they're compound. You might even see differently shaped leaves on a single plant. The leaves are positioned on the stem alternately, and they frequently create a rosette at the base of the stem. In fact, you can often see rosettes before stem starts growing. Leaves can also be clasping, which means they look like they're hugging the stem. Try crushing a leaf of a Brassicaceae plant and smelling it. It has a distinctive, pungent, peppery or almost bitter smell. Think of that smell when you're taking off the leaves of a cauliflower or eating arugula. Do you get what I mean? Although their flowers sometimes appear individually, they typically create an inflorescence, the most frequent type being a raceme. The flowers are attached to the stem by short pedicles, and they bloom from bottom to top. You can sometimes see that while the top of the inflorescence still has some flowers, or even just buds, the bottom flowers are already turning into fruits. Brassicaceae are also called crucifers, which refers to the shape of their flowers, which look like crosses. This characteristic cross or X shape is quite distinctive and it gives the flower a somewhat angular appearance, especially when you compare it to other flowers that tend to be more rounded. The flowers are actinomorphic, which means they're radially symmetrical, having multiple lines of symmetry. They have four sepals and four petals, and their petals are often clawed, which you can see nicely when we dissect the flower. It's that narrowing of the petal almost like the petal is on a stalk. Looking more closely at a flower, we can see the reproductive structures, the pistil and the stamens. Members of the Brassicaceae have bisexual flowers, which means that both male and female reproductive structures are present in every flower. There are six stamens, but when you look at a flower without dissecting it, you might see only four of them, since the other two are hiding because they're shorter. That leads us to another characteristic of this family. The stamens are positioned in whorls, and they often differ in length in a particular way. Four are long, and two are short. So when we open up a flower, we clearly see those two short ones on the sides, and then in the second whorl, four long ones. Brassicaceae in the fruiting stage are easily recognizable, as their fruits usually stick out sideways from the stalk. Think of Capsella bursa pastoris, a widespread weedy herb, which many of you are probably familiar with. Plants with those heart-shaped fruits are maybe even more noticeable than when only flowers are present. Typical Brassicaceae fruit is called a silical or a silique. Both are dry, dehiscent fruits that have two valves that open to release the seeds inside, leaving behind a persistent partition. 
you might notice that partition has a transparent membrane. A silic is long and narrow, typically more than twice as long as wide. When the fruit's length is less than two times its width, it's called a silicle. A silicle might be oval, like in Lepidium, or for example heart-shaped, like in the previously mentioned Capsella bursa pastoris. And where can you find all these mustard plants? They are found worldwide, with the exception of Antarctica and some areas in the tropics. With almost 4,000 species, you have a pretty good chance to find one in your area. Many grow in disturbed sites. Also check agricultural fields or gardens, where you can find the previously mentioned species grown as vegetables. My personal favorite, the genus Caulantus, is native to southwestern North America, and to me it looks like an alien plant. I want to hear from you about your experience of identifying Brassicaceae. Go out, look at the plants out there, remember the characters we talked about in this video, and test for yourself whether you can identify Brassicaceae. Let me know how it went. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.